other angles you need a protractor. Now we've got two angles here, I'm going to measure this one first to find out what this is. So we line up the protractor on this line here, use the middle of the protractor where the lines join and line it straight up where the zero is with this line and make sure this is in the corner. Now when you read round your protractor, this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, so you're going to look along and see where the jo line joins at what number. This joins at 40 degrees, so I know this angle is 40 degrees. Now this angle here is the other way around, so we can use a protractor, we can use it this side this time. But be careful, the numbers up here go up to 10, 20, 30, 40, up to 180. And then there's a middle line here, so if you're using it the other way around, it's 10, 20, 30, 40, going this way. So we can use an angle any way around. So again, we join it in the middle here, along the line, make sure it's nice and straight, and use those inner numbers, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, that's where my line joins. So I know this angle is 70 degrees.